Abercrombie Sport Fragrance Review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this Abercrombie Sport, a fragrance that I actually found on eBay. And I was actually looking up to find out when this was released and I could not find a date that it was released. Abercrombie has like an Abercrombie Kids and they just call it Abercrombie. And for some reason I feel like it was the kids, but normally I would never buy a kid's fragrance. It is Abercrombie number one. And also a lot of people have told me that the Abercrombie Kids have had some unique fragrances. And I know at one point everything that Abercrombie did create had it its own unique little zest was just really really impressive even if it wasn't like the best in the world I still would appreciate what they did so it's not a surprise to me that the kids clones would smell good but I think I found this for about $30 on eBay and I just looked before doing this review and it was 35 to 40 dollars ish there was one seller selling for 70 and later on I guess it will probably sell for more but I think because nobody really knows about this one it's actually pretty cheap you know any fragrance that wasn't super hyped by Abercrombie or super legendary it's pretty cheap to get which is really nice that's why I pulled the trigger on this one I don't have any notes to go by but I was really surprised to say that it smells like Abercrombie and Fitch 1892 red I feel like this is a newer release for the kids line I remember at one point I think it was in 2016 Abercrombie came out with a lot of different caps and one of them was really really extremely light like this fragrance right here and I don't really mind it because it is the kids version it just doesn't look like it's really light and cheap but it is really light and cheap and I did like how Abercrombie bottles used to be a little more heavier including the caps this really smells a lot like 1892 red I know most people haven't smelled that fragrance as well but I was actually surprised by the complexity of it 1892 red it had like cranberry creamy quality to it it had like a peach musk in the opening which I'm actually not really a, it was like peach or apricot. I can't really put my finger on which one it was. For some reason, I don't like the peach style smell, but in 1892 Red, I really liked it, and it's not surprising that Abercrombie would create it in a way that I would like. Compared to 1892 Red, this is much more simple and likable. That kind of peach top note is replaced with a more simple kind of citrus, and it was funny because I liked that the peach was different than citrus, and this goes back to a more normal, fresh, citrusy top note and also the creamy aspect. There was a creamy aspect to 1892 Red that is also gone here. But yeah, that's pretty much how I would describe it because unfortunately I don't have very many notes. So let's go into the pros of this fragrance. The pros is it has a that unique 1892 red smell. Now I did like a review on red and yellow and 1892 red was actually pretty unique. There's a lot of red fragrances out there like Polo Red is one of the main ones that comes to mind. I felt that Abercrombie's, it was a little bit different and I felt like they took most of that DNA here. I actually thought that this smelled almost exactly like red until I sprayed them side by side and I did notice red lasted a little longer. It was a little more complex. Again, it had creamy quality to it and a peach quality to it that's gone here. But overall, it has that unique red style smell that I have not smelled very many other places, although this one is going to be closer to Polo Red for sure. I don't know, I've seen a lot of these iced style bottles and for some reason, I just think the overall presentation and the look of this is a really, really good. I actually like it. Let's go into the cons of this fragrance. The cons is that it is less unique than 1892 Red. Now, again, I really liked this fragrance and I think that this fragrance has a unique zest compared to other red style fragrances. You know, when you compare this to 1892 Red, I just like how much more effort was put into 1892 Red. It always seems like they're trying to do what's popular, but they're trying to do it in a different way. This fragrance seems like, hey, let's take that red fragrance, let's make it a little sporty, and let's just toss it back out. I'm glad it at least smells very similar to that red, but red was much more complex, and I really liked that version of it. And then this one, unfortunately, has really bad projection. Now, Abercrombie, they have about average projection. Usually it's about average to slightly below average. It, with the exception of maybe batch 46, which is now discontinued from Abercrombie, everything is very average to slightly below average. So if this was a kid's fragrance, it's going to be even lighter. You don't want your kid to you know, spray 10, 15 sprays and just smell like all day. I totally get that. And it's going to be lighter and that's really sad that it is as weak as it is. It just seems like it's gone off the skin in four or five hours and it's just so sad, but it is a kid's fragrance. And they also do have the batch number down there. Usually I look for that to find out if it is authentic because I have no idea if this is even a fragrance that Abercrombie created because I can't find any notes on it. So if I were to give it a smell rating, I would give it an eight out of 10 just because it has that unique style 
Abercrombie red style smell. Like if they made like a red clubby style fragrance and they used this and they amped up the projection, like I would love it. I think this is great. It's really unfortunate that they don't have an offering that is a little bit stronger than this, that smells like this because I actually really do like the smell. Likeability, 8.5 to a nine. It's probably its strongest suit. I felt like red was very likable and this one goes even more likable than red. So I'm gonna have to give it an 8.5 to a nine. And then longevity and projection, I'm gonna probably have to give this about a 4.5 to a five, unfortunately. I sprayed this up quite a bit for this review of you know sprayed it on them on my hands to compare it to red as well as spraying it up so i have sprayed it quite a bit and it does have that low longevity and projection so would i recommend this i would recommend this for somebody who's interested in smelling that abercrombie red style smell like say if you've smelled abercrombie red the 1892 red or you own it and you want something very similar to it or you just like having these around very very good fragrance with just unfortunate longevity and projection so anyways guys have you seen this fragrance before do you know any notes of this fragrance do you know when this fragrance came out because i have no idea but anyways guys that's been my review of abercrombie sport it should be called red sport but anyways guys we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and i could not do it without any of you guys' help you guys are the best i'm having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace